So can I be honest, from one photographer to another, I tend to try and pack in as much stuff as possible just in case and then I end up using maybe 10% of it. Which is why over the years as a photographer, I've kind of nailed down some of the core items which has allowed me to stop taking this bag and now I typically only take this. <laughs> I've got that stuck on the desk. I typically only take, I typically only take this. So before I open this bad boy up and we can take a look at what's inside, I do want to just say that this is in no way a gear flex. I'm not going to show you all of my camera gear. Everything that you see in this video does fit in here and it is the stuff that I take with me on every single shoot. So the gear I have in my core kit is what works for me and my style of shooting. If you haven't seen any of my work, go to Instagram, I'll leave a thing here somewhere and then I'll also link to that in the description below so you can see the type of thing that I shoot. And what you might notice is that I shoot a variety of styles from things with natural light to kind of more studio based work sometimes with a lot of uh, different lighting. If I can't rent the lighting on location or the studio doesn't have it then I do have my own lights that I will add to this kit as well. So the first item in the bag, or it's not in the bag, it's actually on the bag, is this which is the Peak Design tripod. Let me remove this because then I can stand the bag up and it looks, it looks good for the video. I've got a number of other tripods and I rarely took them on shoots with me. I'd always find a reason not to take it. Whereas this is so small that it just clips to the bottom of the bag and I can take it with me. Uh, and I end up using it quite a lot as well. So really good product, love this. Hi, this is Garrett from the future. Um, as you can see from the futuristic lights that I have behind me. One thing I actually noticed when I was editing the video was I didn't actually mention the bags that I was using. So um, just quickly, this is the Peak Design Everyday backpack uh, 20 liter this is the first version uh, it's a few years old I've had it for maybe five years now but the one that I'm talking about mostly in this video is this which is the peak design everyday sling I think this is the 10 liter version it's also the version one it's you know pretty old now as well uh, there is a newer version of this there's tons of storage in here and that's why I can fit so much gear in this bag because there's lots of like really cool compartments and everything else as well I'm also wondering what you guys use as your everyday camera bag that isn't to say that I don't love this bag but it's always interesting to see what's new on the market and whether there is something that I'm missing because there's something better out there than this but let me know in the comments below and I'll check those out but for now this is future Gareth going back to the original video so enjoy this is my main camera this is the Canon R5 I'm actually filming with this so I'm gonna overlay some b-roll now up until last year my main camera was a Canon 6D and not the Mark II version it was the old one um, and before that I had a Canon 5D Mark I so I use my camera bodies for a long period of time but as soon as I saw the R5 I was like I have to have that this was the camera I've been waiting for for a long time so it only felt right to drop a shit ton of cash on it I can see Sony shooters in the comments being like and on the R5 is the RF 15 to 35 f 2.8L. They need to make these lens names a little bit easier. This is a fairly recent addition to my gear. Uh, I typically shoot at two different focal lengths, 35 millimeters and 85 millimeters. So up until about two months ago, I was shooting with this, which is the Canon EF 35 millimeter f 1.4 l i actually bought the rf lens not only to do videos in here because it's a very tight space but also because i bought a second hand 15 millimeter fisheye lens which i used on like a couple of shoots which was awesome but at the same time the image quality kind of sucked so when i tried out the rf 15 to 35 lens I was like, oh, this is incredible, which warps the perspective a little bit, but still keeps it a little bit more controlled than the fish I did. My primary lens is this, the Canon EF85 1.2L Mark II, I think. I love this lens. I use this more than anything else. I think I've taken more photos with this lens over the last four or five years than any other lens that I've ever owned. And it's comically heavy. It's ridiculously slow to focus, but the images that I get out of this, I love this so much. 
Um, now that I've got an RF lens and I can see the benefit of that, I'm now thinking about trading this in for the RF version. If you have the RF version of this, let me know whether this is it's any good and whether I should bother upgrading. Oh, before I forget, one thing on the bag. So I have these Peak Design capture clips on most of the bags that I use, not just this one. So I can just clip the camera to that rather than having to undo it and, and put everything in there. But all of my cameras, as I mentioned in my last video, have those Peak Design capture clips. And I'm gonna put some B-roll over this because again, this is actually attached to the camera that I'm filming on right now. But this is the Peak Design clutch, which doesn't seem like much, but after using this, I haven't gone back to a camera strap. When I'm putting the camera on a tripod or a gimbal or I'm using it for vlogging, this strap is so minimal that I don't have to take it off, unlike a conventional camera strap, and I use this all the time. Uh, also in the bag, this is a probably the newest addition to my bag. Uh, I did do a video on this recently, and if you haven't seen that, I'll leave a link up here somewhere. Uh, this is the PGY Tech Mantis Pod. Since recording that last video, I've used this more and more. It's part of my everyday camera bag now. So I always take a spare body with me. Um, and actually, I use this for vlogging as well. But this is my Canon M6. It has an EF adapter on there, uh, which allows me to use you know, the big lenses on this little camera as well. It doesn't take up much space, it's very lightweight. The only thing right now is because I'm starting to switch over to RF lenses, this adapter now doesn't work uh, with the RF lenses, only the EF lenses. So if I do change my 85 as well, I'm gonna have to get another body that is RF compatible. So I've actually been looking at the Canon RP. If you have one of those and it's any good, let me know. So I have. Oh, to, to go with the M6, I do have the kit lens, which is not the best lens in the world, but it's tiny as you can see here. But I keep that in there just in case I want to use the M6 instead. I have this, which is my variable ND filter. This one was pretty cheap for a, a variable density filter. This is really good for me because I always shoot at f1.2. So one of the things I love about this bag, even though it's small, is that there's a little compartment just here. Um, and that is where I keep my iPad Pro. This is actually a 2018 version. I think it's the 11 inch. Since having this, I actually haven't used my MacBook that much at all. Everything gets done on this. I absolutely love this. I don't need to go back to a laptop. I carry one of these around, which is a Samsung T7 SSD drive. This is a one terabyte version. This is like perfect for the iPad Pro. The only issue is you can only set up this drive using a MacBook or a PC. You can't do it on the iPad Pro. So um, if you get one of these, you know, you're still gonna need a computer to do that. But these are really cool. What else do I have? Oh, I have this little wallet here, which actually came free with the PGY Tech uh, tripod. Um, it is just got like a few slots in here. So I've got a tool there for my iPhone. And then I have uh, like a couple of SD cards and a micro SD card with an adapter in there. I have standard dongles. So I have one for my iPhone, one for my iPad. Uh, for SSD cards. And then because of the R5, I've had to buy uh, this, which is uh, a CF card reader. I couldn't get one of these integrated into anything else. This one is made by Angelbird Technology. Transfer speeds on this thing are awesome. I don't know much about Angelbird Technology, but I like this, it's really good. What else? So in here I have spare batteries, more spare batteries, spare batteries for the M6. I have this, which uh, is my power bank. I've used a lot of different power banks, but I love this one the most. It's made by a company called Power Traveler. This one has integrated uh, lightning, USB-C on the back, which can rapid charge things. You can even run a MacBook off of this. Uh, it has USB-A as well. It charges extremely quickly, uh, and the charge on this lasts so long as well. The battery capacity on this is 10,000 milliamps. 
which is you know pretty big for something so small. I also keep my AirPods. I'm always listening to music on the way to or from a shoot or while I'm editing. Sound quality is not amazing, but they're so convenient, so I take them everywhere. There's two microphones that I always take with me, and one of those is the Rode Video Micro. I would kind of uh, take it out of the bag right now to show you, but it's actually attached to uh, this boom arm here because I'm using this to record and I've got the Rode Wireless Go attached to that. I'll always take that with me as well because I can use that with uh, different cameras and the wireless function is great if you want to set up a microphone somewhere and have that go straight into a camera. Um, I should take this out of the way really, shouldn't I? It won't go out now. Stay out of the shot. I know, I know you want to be in the shot, but pull this in. Casey Neistat style. So that is what is in my camera bag for most of my portrait shoots in mid 2021. I'll leave links to all of this gear in the description below. And if you've got any questions on any of the stuff that I'm using, please let me know. All that's left to say is hit that thumbs up button if you like this video. Let's me know that I should be making more of this type of content. Subscribe if you wanna see more and as always stay safe and I will see you guys in the next one. This is the Peak Design carbon fiber tripod travel tripod carbon travel travel tripod carbon carbon fiber travel tripod this is the peak design carbon travel tripod Tra carbon travel tripod carbon carbon fiber i can't know what it's called the peak design uh, the peak design tripod the peak design tripod